Hi guys, it is Shereen. So I hope you guys are doing super, super well today. So today we are going to paint some tissue paper. So I have just a cheap watercolor set from Michaels. It's very chalky, but I love it. It has beautiful colors. Um, so I'm going to show you that I've done this before. So this I did watercolor roses. It's on tissue paper. And then I did some funky flowers too. So this is a really fun technique. Um, I saw an artist... Um, Ray Missinger, I think that's how you say her name. Forgive me if I mispronounced it. Um, she did this. Um, she did kind of just, she just likes to do kind of abstract shapes. Um, but she did it on regular tissue paper and I did it and I'm super happy. So I'm going to show you how it works. Okay. It's super easy. Okay. So we'll do one together and then I'm going to do a stack of them and just kind of let you put on some music and relax and get ideas. Maybe I'll do one or two. So I'm just going to grab my watercolor brush. I have a bucket of water here and I have my watercolors. Um, you can also grab like a piece of I like to have a blotting paper too. Um, I'll just use the back of this. This is for a dessert that I made apparently. I save all my recipes and stuff that I try um, and I use them as blotting paper. So um, and then that way I kind of get two collage things for one. So we're just going to dip our brush into water and then um, just play. So like we can just make just use our brush maybe and just make just press it down and just make these like dashes you know and if you want it more pigmented you can just add just really go in there and get it on your brush add some more water we can make things a little bit more runny add some dark blue i love cool colors i'm always attracted to them so blues and purples and Turquoises are always my favorite, and I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm just not even thinking about it, right? I'm just kind of spreading that color throughout. There we go. Add some green. I never use green, really, not, but I do like this green. It's a really bright green. Very pretty. So that could be one that we could be done with, but I'm going to add more. I think I want more of that deep purple color, a little bit more saturated, and some contrast. So you can do flowers, as you saw, you can do anything that you can think of, you can really do on this. Um, just don't add too much water, you know, um, and just play. I think that's the best way to do things like this. And I'm an, I use this as collage paper, so I've already used it um, to line the inside of one of my journals. And I absolutely love it. It glues down very, very easily, and it makes beautiful patterns. Um, so it's fun to use. So we can add some of that pink in there. I love that pink. Look at how much of it I have used already. <laughs> Got this like a couple weeks ago. That was it. I ordered it online. We had to order some canvas because I'm going to do a big abstract painting for our living room. So since, you know, we're quarantined, so... <laughs> Or at least we well, at least we are quarantine ourselves <laughs> Not about the rest of Colorado but that's what we're doing okay and then I'm just going to add some splatters just because it's getting a little bit too neatsy beatsy for me so and I like splatters like and I like to kind of mess things up what can I say I'm weird like that <laughs> very good so we'll just go here and kind of blot that out okay so that's one so very very simple Easy, easy, easy peasy. Okay, so I'm just going to actually leave that on there and I'm going to go right here. And you could do double layers um, if you wanted. Like this is one of the double layers that I did, so the colors just kind of blend. And um, they look really chalky, but once you do like your matte medium or your deco page glue, um, the colors brighten up and they're very saturated. So, and they don't really bleed, which I was surprised about on the tissue paper. Okay, so for this one, let's do warm colors since that's not what I would first go to. And let's go ahead and make some circles. So, and this is just a brush that I got on eBay. Um, it's made um, with natural fiber, so it does take a lot of water. And I really like it. It's a nice brush. 
I don't know what actually it's made out of. I would probably be shocked, but it does hold water very, very well. And I, they're super cheap. They're like, like no money at all, but it does. It has this nice tip too, and you can reshape it. Very nice. So um, it's a great brush. They're super cheap. I think I got like this one and maybe another one for like not that much. I think maybe like $2 or something. It was very cheap. Very good. And that was a while ago too. It's a little bit ago. I did. So these are more of like an ovalish shape, but that's okay. They're not perfect circles, but I'm not after perfect. And it's great to do this. Like if you're struggling and you don't have an idea of what you want to do, I like doing things like this. They're just kind of creative exercises and you can like play with colors and just shapes and there's really no pressure, right? Because you're just going to use this in a collage and it's just really pretty. And it turns out really great. You use it in project and you can send it in happy mail to your friends, which is always a great thing. Alrighty, so I like that a lot. Okay, so let's add some yellow because I love yellow and purple are like probably equally my favorite colors. I love this yellow over color. I think that's so pretty. Oh, I lost a bristle. It's never lost a bristle before. That's weird. Ever, ever, ever. And I've had this brush for a couple of years, but that's all right. I'm just going to fix my circle-ish shape. That <laughs> could be a circle, but it probably is not a circle. And I'm just holding it, you know, at a, what, a 30 degree angle. Just what feels comfortable to my hands. And I do like, um, like tech, I love like the detail of watercolor painting. Like you, you kind of have to know how to use the brush, but then you have no control. So I love that kind of contrast of um, thinking that you have control and you don't. <laughs> And the colors just kind of go wherever they will. So I think that's, I do like um, detailed work, which is strange because I really love um, making a mess, but I do like to add details too. So I'm a total contradiction. <laughs> it's very strange, but it works. At least it helps me make the art that I like. Okay, so that looks really cool. And I'm going to resist, maybe I won't splatter on this one. But I wonder if I can let's experiment a little bit. So I'm trying to think. So we have a lot of chrome colors. Let's go in. I'm just going to fill up one of these wells with this hot pink color that I've also been using a lot. As you can tell, I'm going to try to get it very, very saturated if I can. Okay, good deal. And we're going to have a lot because this is filled with color. I'm going to go ahead and block that out. And... I'm just curious. This is a glue stick. If I can just kind of dip this and if it will make an impression of sorts. And, you know, I know that people love having very clean desks. Mine always has stuff on it. Um, I just clear it off, you know, when I need to use it or when I'm working on a new project. And I find that if I have a few things around me, like things just for texture or something, that I will think about them and I go to them. So um, I think you should see what works for you. Maybe you just need a clean, fresh start every time you come to your art table, or maybe you need something to bounce off of, you know, um, or you can just like leave your ideas out. But I'm always curious about how people work. Ooh, I like that one too. So very nice. So these do take a little while to dry, and you see that I ripped that one. I should have put this one under plastic, and I love it. It's so pretty. But, but you will see a picture of all these, I promise. So let me go ahead and put this one in place. That's fine. It's clear. Alrighty, so maybe let's do one more together. How long is this video? It's probably been a while. Okay. This one, let's just make, like, we'll just splatter down some color, some wet color. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to try not to be like as crazy as I'm being right now. Don't be tough on the, the paper should be. I love making collage papers. It's definitely one of my favorite things. It's so much fun. Let's mix those together, see what we get. Ooh, look at that purple. It's so pretty. Maybe I should put this under plain piece of paper so you guys can see better. Put it under, here. Put it under my wipe off paper. Yeah, then you can see the colors a little better. Sorry. It kind of was blending in, wasn't it? And I'm just creating a washy kind of watercolor background, right? So I'm just using my brush all willy-nilly. Just adding colors, not really overthinking it. I think too much, so art is always good for me. <laughs> It always is. It helps me to loosen up if I've said so many times before, so it's good. And it helps when I'm not, you know, doing per videos in person. I always have on music, usually, or um, I'm listening to something, someone talking or something, or class or something like that, so... It's definitely a time of relaxation. It's amazing how fast the time passes when you're, you can even use this white. This white really works pretty good too. I mean, it's, it's definitely opaque. You can kind of see it does kind of lighten things up. So I think that's interesting. And this one, I don't think that I can resist doing splatters. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to try. I'm going to add a little bit of green. Just a tad. And it does, it dries very nicely, like there's no wrinkles and when you put it down, it's totally fine. But it's so pretty, you can use it as wrapping paper, as collage paper, so it's so pretty. And I can't stop, I'm gonna have to do some more too. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a lot of these, so. Hopefully I'm at least being quick. <laughs> <laughs> so that I don't annoy you too much. And then you get a little bit of bleed through on that thing. Oh, this one is going to be pretty. I like that one. So I think I'm going to do another one of these, but maybe in like cool, in warm. Thought you left me in the desert to die A sip of water and I came back to life Bet your money that I'll always survive Just watch how I push through the rocks
this guy, which is so pretty. I can't wait till these dry. So pretty. And I get like a little, look at this bottom paper. That is so pretty. I like that. Wonderful. And then I have this one to good. And then this one is almost dry. So you can kind of see how it looks. Look at how pretty that is. So it dries, it's all crinkly and pretty, but when you collage it down, it's so pretty and it just adds very subtle kind of watercolor effects. And this one is pretty much dry, so they don't take very long to dry. However long I've been talking endlessly, that's how long <laughs> it takes to dry. So not very long. And this one I pretty much drenched with color. So very nice. So I hope that you do this project. I hope that my gabbing didn't bother you too much and I hope that you learned something and I hope that you guys are safe and that you're doing great and um and I will see you next time for the next video have a wonderful 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 weekend bye bye guys